We estimate $3.7 trillion as the global spend on the gig economy in 2017. It used to be that you would hire people and give them technology to make them more productive. Today the conversation now is about bodies and bots. The key people in the ecosystem, the hiring managers and the talent, one way or another will be, will have, will have taken ownership of this process. And the actual application of AI is uh, usually narrowly applied in like specific applications, such as recruiting. I think we won't be sending Rex to preferred supply lists, we'll be sending him to this uh, supplier who does a great job in this geography with these skill sets and talent pools and, and micro talent pools that do a better job bringing that talent directly to the person. And I don't know, you know, it's up to us to decide if we're all part of that or not. There's a lot of people doing this work. 48 million Americans in 2017 did some form of gig economy work. It is the brands that are able to break through all the noise to make authentic connections will be the clear winners. The last thing you want to do is retire fully and you're going to want to work in this kind of a work model. But I think if we capture the brand around that, the generations that follow might see a whole different industry.